Today, Governor Gavin Newsom signed the CARE Court Program into law. It's supposed to create a mental health branch in California County Courts. It will provide court-ordered care to homeless people with severe mental disorders. Now, the governor spoke today about what he calls policy mistakes that led up to the homeless crisis. Which said you can't incarcerate people against their will for one reason. That's issues related to their mental and brain health. Civil liberties push, more of a conservative backlash, block grants, we can talk about SROs and red line, okay, all of these things stacking together. And here we are. It took us decades and decades to get here. It took us five months to change the paradigm. And now it's going to take us a year after I have the privilege to sign the actual bill. Someone facing a criminal charge could avoid punishment by completing a mental health treatment plan. Plus, the state can force someone into the program. Governor Newsom hopes these courts catch people before they fall into the criminal court system. Now, this program is still years away for most counties. Butte County has until December 1st of 2024 to have it all set up. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum spoke with the behavioral health director to see what the next step is. The next step is hiring more staff. Butte County Behavioral Health says that's one of its main concerns since it doesn't even have full staffing right now with its current programs. We are about 22% as far as our vacancies go. So counties are going to have to be forced to go, do I staff up my programs with for my existing uh, needs or do I divert staff and put them into the care court? Each county has to set up a civil court and counties will be fined $1,000 a day if a care court is not set up. Families, first responders and anyone else can refer someone with a severe mental health illness or a psychiatric disorder to get treatment. But at any time someone in care court can say, I don't want anything to do with this and they can walk. There's no teeth. Um, there's, you, can't court, you can court order medication, but you can't force medication on anyone. You can court order treatment, but you can't force treatment on anyone. This is mainly geared towards homeless people, but Scott Canelli from Behavioral Health says most of them who would qualify that he has seen don't want the help. This is going to be, yes, we can tell you that you need treatment. That's the end of where their authority is going to lie because you're going to get a lot of people that say that there's no constitutional way to force a person to accept help. The county also has to house the person getting treatment if they don't have a place to stay. Butte County Behavioral Health doesn't think there's enough options or room for that right now, even with its new affordable housing developments. There are already dozens of people in line for those apartments, so there are not going to be uh, vacancies in those projects by the time care court comes up. And typically those projects, once we get people in those, in, those housing uh, facilities or apartments, they stay in those uh, places. Butte County Behavioral Health tells me the state says it'll help the counties with funding, but nothing has been put into place just as of yet. Reporting in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Now, the court can order a treatment plan for someone that lasts up to a year and will also be able to renew that plan if necessary by another year.